Hello everyone. Welcome to this another video on CSS by Simply Learn. As you know, CSS animations is a powerful concept that is used to make your web page engaging and attracting visitors to your website. They make the user experience smooth and entertaining. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create some cool CSS effects using just HTML and CSS. So without further wasting any time, let's jump to our Sublime Text Editor. So we are on our Sublime Text Editor. For our example purpose, I have used one image from an unsplash.com and we have created a simple class, div class container for it. Now, let's go and style these images to get a 3D effect. So first let's design the body part. We'll set the margin and padding to 0 pixels. We'll set the width to 100%. And we'll set the height to 100% vertical heights. We'll keep the display as flex. And we'll align the items in the center. And we'll justify the content in the center as well. Now we'll design our container class. So for the container class, we'll set the position to relative. We'll set the width to 360 pixels and we'll keep the height to 640 pixels. We'll set the margin top to 150 pixels and we'll keep the background to white. We'll use the RGBA format. We'll use the transform property to apply a 2D or 3D transformation to an element. So, we'll use the transform and we'll use it, its properties. We'll keep this to 30 de degrees. We'll set the skew to say 25 degrees. And we'll scale it to 0.8. Let's discuss more about these properties. So, the translate property defines a 2D or 3D translation. The scale defines a 2D or 3D trans scale transformation. And the skew property is used to skew transformation along the X or Y axis. Now let's design the images. We'll keep the position to absolute. We'll set the width to 100%. And we'll keep the transition time to 0.5 seconds. Let's go back to our page and see how it looks up to this point. So, as you can see, we have the images aligned as we want on a flat side. Now we will create the 3D transformation when we hover over it. So let's go back to our CSS file. So for the 3D effect we are going to use the nth child property. The nth child selector allows you to take a single argument that describes a pattern for the matching element indices in a list of siblings. We'll design the each image separately. So for the fourth image, we'll use the transform property and we'll translate it to 160 pixels and minus 160 pixels. Let's copy this code four times. Okay, we have to set the opacity as well. So we'll set the opacity here to 1. The opacity property sets the transparency of the element. 
just change that number of the nth child elements so here we'll keep it to 120 pixels minus 120 pixel we'll set the opacity to 0.8 For the second element, let's keep the translate to 80 pixels, minus 80 pixels and we'll set the opacity to say 0.6 and for the last image, we'll translate it to 40 pixels and minus 40 pixels and we'll keep the opacity to say 0.4. So now when you save the file and you will go back to the page, let's see how it looks. So if you refresh and hover over it, now you can see the image has a 3D over effect over it. There are 4 layers to the image and we have designed the opacity according to the image layer. So this is a 3D image hover. The next property we are going to discuss is a 3D perspective image. So for this, let's use a new set of images. So we'll go back to the unsplash.com again and let's select one image. This one looks beautiful. So let's copy the image address and mention it under the image tag. Just save. Now when you go back to the page, you see you have your image here. Now let's add the 3D perspective image design over it. So under our CSS file, let's first design all the elements. Let's keep the margin and padding to 0. Keep the width of the container elements to 100 pixels or say 100%. Let's keep the minimum height to say 100 vertical heights. And we'll use a background color of hash 333. Let's design the image as well before going back to the page. So we'll set the perspective to say 4000 pixels. The perspective property is used to determine the distance between the Z plane and the user in order to give a 3D positioned element some perspective. Let's keep the width of the image 70%. We'll keep the position to absolute. Keep the left margin to 50% and top to 50% as well. We'll use the transform property and use the translate value of it to minus 50% and plus 50%. We'll use the transform style property and set the value to preserve 3D. The preserve 3D indicates that the children of the element should be positioned in the 3D space. So just save the file and let's go back to the page to see how it looks up to this point. So as you can see we have the required background image and we have the image in our required position. Now it's time to style our image. So we'll use the transform property and we'll rotate, we'll use the rotate x property of it, we'll keep it to 70 degrees,
Let's discuss this property translate 3D. The translate 3D CSS function repositions an element in the 3D space. It results in the transform function data type. The transformation is characterized by a three dimensional vector. It coordinates how much the element moves in each direction. Let's set the box shadow to minus 80 pixels, 60 pixels, 15 pixels, pixels and RGBA value to 0, 0, 0. 0. 0.4 let's say let's set the transition to all 0.4 seconds and we'll set the transform style to preserve 3d so just save the file and let's go back to our page to see how it looks up to this point so as you can see, the image is flat for the, and ready for the 3D effect. Now let's design the 3D hover effect on it. So for the 3D hover effect, we'll use the hover property image colon hover over the image. We'll set the transform rotate x zero degrees. Rotate Z to zero degrees and translate three D to zero pixels, comma zero pixels, comma zero pixels. Let's check this once again. This was right. Now we'll set the box shadow to zero pixels, zero pixels, zero pixels. 0 pixels and RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Just save the file and refresh. Now, when you hover over it, you will see that the perspective of the image changes. So, this is a 3D perspective image. Now, there are many CSS effects that you can design using these properties. So, with this, we come to the end of this video. I hope you like this video and you have learned something new about the CSS effect and some properties as well. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.